It's got something in common with the French tart tartan, but it comes from the United States and it dates back to the 20s, following the success of canned pineapple, which was then replaced by fresh fruit in its modern version. It's the pineapple upside down cake. Let's prepare it together. I'll start by taking care of the star of the recipe, the pineapple. Let's cut the green top. I'll also cut off the bottom. And then, with a pineapple cora, I'll remove the center. Voila! With a little twist. And the core is out. Now I'm going to remove the skin. Now this fruit that we love so much comes from the Caribbean islands. According to a legend, when Christopher Columbus landed in Guadalupe in 1493 and tasted the juicy yellow pulp of pineapple, he thought he had discovered Eden. Now I need to cut it into slices that I will need for the top of the cake, that is in fact the bottom since it's an upside down cake. And then I'll cut them into quarters. I keep them aside and dice the rest. Perfect. I can take care of the caramel. I'll put sugar and water in the pan. I switch the stove on, let the sugar melt and wait for it to reach the classic amber color. The history of this upside down cake, or rovesciata as we call it in Italy, is closely connected to the canning industry that invented sliced canned pineapple and asked the American housewives to send creative recipes for its use. 2,500 people sent their interpretation of the classic upside-down apple pie and in a very short time the pineapple version became a classic. Here's the right color. Off the heat. I love the butter. And let it melt. And I start arranging the pineapple slices that I had kept aside, this way in a spiral. And I can take care of the cake batter. A bowl, I'll mix some soft butter with the sugar and a pinch of salt. I'll whisk it with a hand mixer. and add the eggs, one at a time. Now the flour. I'll also add sifted baking powder and finally add almond milk and almond flour in turns. Only the diced pineapple is missing. I blend it gently with a spatula. And I just have to transfer the cake batter into the pan. I'll level it well. And I can bake my upside down cake in a static oven at 185 degrees for about an hour. Once ready, I will flip it on a wire rack to let the excess caramel drain. Here is our pineapple upside down cake, exotic and reassuring at the same time. 
I'll link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafferano where you will find ingredients, measurements and the step-by-step -step procedure. If you like this video, don't forget to leave us a nice like and if you have any questions, write them in the comments. And of course, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel now. Bon appétit!